have things been going really well for you in your life and then suddenly something happens with your parents and you're thrown into a decision-making mode with what they're going to do with the next chapter of life. I'm Scott Sacken, 35-year full-time realtor, and these are the things that my clients today are dealing with. And I'd like to share some of the solutions that we're working out to help you if you've got aging parents that you've got to help with some life-changing decisions. Let's talk about that for a minute. You don't want a life event to suddenly force your hand with your parents' move. Let's say there's a fall or there's an injury or there's an illness and suddenly there's been no planning and you're in a decision-making position for parents. Often you may have siblings across the country that can't be part of that. You can create anxiety. It can just be a mess. Let's talk about how early planning and intervention can really set the tone for a seamless move when it's time for mom and dad. For example, I've got some clients right now, they've decided to move to Montana to be with their daughter. We started talking about this a year ago. They were looking at options of staying right here in their same community, moving to assisted living perhaps. They've got church friends, they're in card clubs, there's a lot of things they do, and they're feeling just great. But then we got to talking about that and they thought, well gosh, if we move to assisted living here, then what's the next phase after that gonna look like? Are we gonna want to be with family or have the burden of family having to come out here and take care of us. Fast forward another year, they decided the best thing to do was actually to move to Montana to an independent living facility that has assisted living and extended care options available all on the same campus. Now, they had to make the decision that it's gonna be a different climate, a different lifestyle, different set of friends, but they're part of the decision-making process now with their daughter and it's been a year in the works, so I can't underscore enough. Taking time when everyone is doing well to start having these conversations. That's just one example. And the points that I really wanna make here are, don't wait for something to happen. Once again, talk to your parents now when they're doing well, even if it seems like something's five years away, because time goes by like that. And oftentimes, when a conversation gets started, the time frames condense and decisions are made in a much shorter period of time. It's tough to get the conversations going, that's absolutely certain. But again, if you have good rapport with your aging parents, now's the time to start the conversation.